Hi everybody, so welcome to another video here on my channel. My name is Cassie, also known as Crafty Cassie, and you can find me on Ravelry, uh, Instagram, TikTok, and here on YouTube. I'm not on Facebook as Crafty Cassie, I just have private accounts there. Um, so, today is another haul video. So, yeah, uh, Michaels had a clearance event, still has a clearance event, and they got a bunch of their loops and threads and some Karen um, that was clearanced out. It was from their spring and summer line, and I'm just looking at it all right now because all of their fall stuff is coming in, which is fun, but fall is the end of the year. And while I am ready for the heat to be gone, I currently live in Southern California, and the heat has just begun here. Also, I happen to be slightly sick. Um, we can thank my toddlers for that. Um, Alright, so, I got a bunch of cotton. Um, I've been watching Pamela from Pamela's Adoring Creations, um, Crochet Creations, I think. Um, but I've been almost binge-watching her for the better part of this year. She is based out of Arkansas and is just a really happy, bubbly woman. Um, she's an, an older lady, um, having her first grandson and all that jazz, but she has discovered crochet in the last year and a half, two years now, and she's made some amazing things with her crochet. And I thought I did pretty good with my crochet as well, considering it's the first grass, grass. It's the first craft I learned how to do, um, as far as yarns can, well, no, actually it's not. My first one I learned is, um, needlepoint on plastic canvas, um, and then I learned how to crochet at nine. So, yarn has been a big part of my life since I was able to fidget, essentially, um, thanks to my grandmothers, and, um... So, Pamela had mentioned on her channel this um, pullover that she made. Um, it was a v-neck, three colored stripes, and she said she used um, loops and threads cream cotton, and she'd used three skeins of it, and actually she had only used part of three skeins. And it came out beautiful. And I went to my first Michaels, and they didn't have much. They actually only had the Eco Brights but I'm going to get to that video next um, because it's buried in the corner there. Uh, so yeah. Um, but this was all purchased on a different day. Um, like, I want to say three or four days later. So, and I went to a different Michaels and they had a ton. It was the same Michaels where you saw in the previous video, if you did watch that, where I got the $5 grab bag. And I went specifically looking for the green Eco Brights um, yarn, and I got some. So I'm happy with that. This time, I went a little bonkers because they had so much of the uh, of the loops and thread cream cotton in stock. I bought quite a bit of it. I bought quite a bit of certain colors. So I'm going to try and go through it all. Um, you're probably going to see me throw skeins behind me. Um, I have a, um, a bag back there that it's all going into, so, um, so this first color I have here in my hand is, um, the Loops and Thread Yarn Cream Cotton. It is 324 yards, 5.29 ounces, um, 296 meters, or 150 grams, so there's that, and this particular color, this pastel pink, it's getting kind of blown out in my camera. This is a little bit more accurate down here. Um, this is petal pink. This is the color number 15, petal pink. Back there. I actually really wanted a lot of this color, which is the cream color, which is color number 14. And I think I only got two of them. Let me see what I've got here. One. I think I bought all that they had of the cream. Yeah, I've only got two here. So, um, this is a medium four, so I hope I have enough for whatever I want to do. Um, 
Is this an actual spun or is it a chain spun? Yeah, this is a chain spun yarn. So. Which means that it's looped together. Um, so it forms a denser yarn. Which I'm okay with. But it is, it's actually a really soft yarn. So I'm actually really excited to use this. Um, and then I've got this one here, which is color number 51, which is Fiery Flamingo. Ooh, that is bright. This is more coral. That is showing up way hot pink. Um, my face is pretty red. I do have a window, like, right behind you guys, so I'm getting a lot of great natural light. But it's making me look really pink, and this is coming off really pink. Uh, that's still too pink. Okay. Well, it's definitely more of a coral color rather than this hot pink thing that's going on. Then we've got Rose Sands, which is pretty true to color. Kind of an orangey peach color. It's really pretty. Um, unless I say differently, I only got one skein of everything. Because um, that's what they had. There just wasn't a whole lot. Um, this cream cotton sold out, or a lot of it got sold fairly early on, um, which is okay. It's good yarn, that's, and that's just what that means. This is light gray, and I actually got three of these color, three of this yarn, and it is just a hint of gray. It almost looks white there, that's a little more gray. This is actually more of a blue gray to me, rather than a gray gray, um, so because this is coming off kind of gray-gray. Yeah, maybe a little on the blue side, but... Um, the next color I've got here is Dusty Rose, but this is more of a tan to me, and it's showing tan in the screen. It's actually showing a lot darker. Um, I would not say that it's that close in color. So, to my shirt. That's what I mean. It's not that close in color to my shirt. Um, I don't know why they called this Dusty Rose. There's not a whole lot of pink in here. I mean, it is on the warmer side of the tan. It's kind of like a, um, like a buckskin color. Um, almost like a faded buckskin color rather than a, like a full-on buckskin, which is kind of what it's showing in the screen. We have this color, which is Golden Cream, and it's just, it's like a, um, a cornmeal color. Just a real pale yellow. Then I've got this guy here. Oh, that's coming off bright. This is a mint color. Um, and it is the color Ocean's Celadon. And that's a lot brighter than what it is. These are all very muted colors. Um, I think the last two colors are probably some of the brighter ones that I picked up. Um, then I have this one, which is Stone and Clay, which is just, um, it's more yellow than the light gray was. Let me see if I can grab it. There it is. Uh, so yeah, light gray. There you go. It's more brown, and that's pretty accurate as far as the two um, coming across. So... Um, my second to last color here, this is Endless Mustard. I wouldn't call this mustard. Um, it's more like a butter color. Mustard's way more darker to me. Um, honestly. And maybe mustard seed. Um, I do love to cook with mustard seed. Um, ground mustard seed in my food. My husband doesn't necessarily like it because it gives a little bit of a... Almost like a little bit of a bitterness to it. Um... And the ground mustard seed that we have from McCormick is kind of this color. So that might be more accurate, but still makes me question it. And this color. I love this blue. This is blue violet. And it is just the most perfect mid-tone blue ever. And I really, really want to make um, a top with it. And I actually am planning to make several of the tops that um, Pamela showed. 
hers came out beautiful. She did it in two, I want to say this color blue, a lighter blue, and then a cream. And while I don't necessarily want to do that, um, I do wear a lot of blue. I've always worn a lot of blue. Um, I want to mix. I think I want to do the yellow. Where'd it go? I just had the yellow, the blue, and where's my cream? Here it is, the cream. I think I want to do this color top because I feel like this is just. It's not something I have, and I think it is a color palette that would work really well um, for me. Um, but yeah, so that's planning to be one of those. Um, I forget what the top is. I will try to link the top in here. It is... Um, I had it written down. Wow, I really should write this down and keep it, like, near me when I do these videos, because I'm sure you would love to hear this stuff, but, uh, yeah. I didn't, and I apologize for not being on top of things. Alright, and I have, we're gonna go with the smaller one. So, they actually had these, uh, Karen Cotton Ripple Cakes on clearance as well. So, I got three. And the colors are fairly similar. Uh, actually, two. I got two of the same color, actually. Let's be honest. These two are the same. These beautiful mauve, purpley mauve colors. Dusty mauve colors. Um, and this is Flagstone. That's the name of the colorway. And it is just beautiful. And then I got one of this color, and it is Iced Latte. And it is. It's just a really beautiful ice latte color. And now I want Starbucks. <sighs> there is a pattern on here for a um, kind of a lacy crochet shawl, it looks like. V-shawl? Or V-shawl. Triangular shawl on here. Um, I might actually make that because I bought these three to be a shawl together. So I might just do that. Um, requires a size H or five millimeter and two balls. But I can just continue the pattern and use all three. So that might be what I do. Um, I didn't have a pattern in mind. Now, now I do. Now I do. All right. So I got more of those Eco Brights colors. Colors that I didn't get. I mean, I did get some of these colors, like I picked up the yellow in that $5 bag. Um, but now, now I have more. Because who doesn't need three skeins of this beautiful, bright-ass yellow? Yeah. Oh, I probably should have put a warning. I like to curse sometimes. I try really hard to make this a family-friendly show. Um, I do have twins that are two, and we're in the mimicking phase. So I try really hard not to curse, um, but sometimes things like this happen, and you can't help but let a word slip or not, you know, slip out or not. Slip out at a time or two. Wow! I can talk, I promise. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that's not true. You would think that I immigrated and that English isn't my first language by how badly I speak it. Uh, but it's not. It's my one and only language. I was raised by an immigrant. Um, my dad moved here from Germany, so fun fact. Um, but we don't, we speak English in the house. So yeah, three of this yellow. And that's exactly the color. Yellow. And I got more in that $5 pack. Ah, it looks like I'm crocheting something really yellow. Or crocheting some things with a lot of yellow. Now this color. This color I love. 
It is the most perfect mid-tone dusty, and I've got three of these pinks ever. Um, it is a it color is light pink. Um, and just in case you didn't see the last video, this is a number five. So, and this is um, not a chain spun. It is um, a regular spun. So it's got you know several singles that are then spun together in a single yarn. Um, but it is also slightly fuzzy. You can kind of see there. It's slightly a fuzzier, almost like it's got. Um, Like if they had done a chain spun and then blew fiber into the chain. Um, but it's actually each individual strand is just fuzzy like that. Um, it is so soft. It is also why this was an, another cool thing. It's made from recycled plastic. It's 100% recycled polyester, in fact, um, which is something that I really liked. Now, I'm not sure where they got the polyester from what plastics they used, um, how they recycled it, if it is, you know, actually eco-friendly, because for those of you who don't know, if you use superwash yarns, um, using a natural fiber like wool is great. That's f can be very, fairly eco-friendly, except for the superwash process, which is not eco-friendly at all. Um, but I love me a good superwash, honestly. So, <sighs> but anyways, yeah, I have three of these light pinks because I loved it so much. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Probably a really cute, cute top. I'm actually thinking about combining it with a couple of the cottons behind me. Um, and crocheting up that same top that I was talking about that Pamela made um, and sending it to a friend because that's actually her favorite color is that kind of mid-tone pink. And I think that if I toned it down with this pale pink and combined it with the gray, I just think that that is a really pretty color palette. Um, and even though this is a number five bulky, I think it could work. Um, so I just think that that is a gorgeous color palette and would make a really good sweater for her. So I just hope that I have enough because I only have one skein of this light pink. Anyways, so while I have enough of the gray, I only have one skein of this pink. So I hope that I can make the sweater. And I probably need to cast that on sooner rather than later so I don't forget to make it. The next colors I'm going to show you, I only got one of each. Um, I do, I did, was able to pick up some of this blue at another trip to the Mic to another Michaels. Um, so I only grabbed one of these at the time. Um, but that's okay. Uh, this is the color Cobalt Blue. And yeah, I would say that's pretty true to color for the Cobalt. It's beautiful. I just, I love this color. I also got orange. And this is called peach. By the way, they're calling this peach. And let me put it next to the cobalt. That's orange. These are also the De Bears colorways, by the way. Uh, not that I would, no, not De Bears. The cups. Ooh. Pretty sure they're based out of Chicago, and I have family and friends from Chicago, so well, please don't hurt me. But anyways, this is orange. That's all I'm saying. Place next to this cobalt, and yes, that's pretty true as far as color bouncing goes. Yeah. And then this one is concrete, and it is, it's it's a darker midtone gray, but it's definitely that midtone gray color. So. Uh, I kind of want to pair this with some of that Kelly Green I got and make me a pumpkin patch sweater somehow. Because you know Halloween. So that is actually everything I got 
this trip around. Um, I'm just looking around because I kind of am stuck in a little corner of my craft room because my craft room is still a lot in boxes. Uh, I do have a lot of it out though. With that said, I've got a lot of yarny goodness that I need to go squish and love on. And I hope you have found some joy, even though that took a serious note, which I don't know why my stuff does, but it does. <laughs> and uh, I hope you have a great yarny day. Until next time.